Hello and welcome back. In this part of the tutorial, I'm going to start developing the Angular client application. Here on my channel, there is a tutorial series where I also develop an Angular client application. But then in that tutorial, I was making use of the Angular HTTP module to communicate with the Spring REST backend. As you can see here, I have uh, the latest Angular command line tools configured which will only generate an Angular 5 project. And the Angular HTTP module is deprecated in Angular version 5. So we are instead going to be using the Angular HTTP client module, which is available as from Angular version 4.3. So if your command line tool can generate an Angular 4.3 project, you can follow along. So with that said, let's go ahead and get started. So to create a new Angular application, I'll then just go ahead and type here in my console ng new and I'll call this min client. So the project creation is done. Next I'll navigate into the project folder. Then I'll generate the following component. So I'll just type here ng g component to generate a new component. And I'll place all the components in a folder called component. The first component I'll call it create update. Now this will have a form that we are going to use to do the create and update operations. Then next I'll generate another component called list, which is going to list all the countries from the back end and it's also going to contain buttons that we can click and do the delete and update operations. Then I'll create another component called navbar, which will contain a navbar that we can use across the various components. So with that done, I'll just go ahead and open up this project in Visual Studio Code. So again, I'll type here code dot so the project folder is now open up in Visual Studio Code and I'll start by creating the various routes. So I'll open up this source app folder and we're going to be doing that in this app module.ts file. So in order to create the routes, I'll need to import here the router module and route from Angular router. Then I'll declare the various routes here. So cons, I'll call it app route of type route. This is basically going to be an array that defines all the routes. So the first one will be the default route and I'll set the path to nothing. So when we navigate to the default route, we'll load the following component. This will be the list component. It's the list component. So this one and I'll just go ahead and copy this and do the next route which will be the create or update route so I'll just have a create update and here we'll load the create update component Then we need to add this route here as an import. So here, I'll just type um, router module dot for root and pass in the routes we just defined. So app route. So next, I'll open up this uh, app component dot HTML file here and declare here the router outlet. So I'll place that in a div. And here now I'll add router outlet. So by defining the route, what we have just done is the following. You see, each component has an HTML page. So we have declared routes for these two components, the create update component and the list component. 
and here we added a router outlet. This means when we navigate to create update, the HTML page of this component would be displayed at this particular position. And same thing will happen when we navigate to this list component, which is our default route. Its own HTML page will also be displayed at this particular location. So in the navbar component.ts file, this one here, we have this selector. So I'll copy that and place it here as a tag meaning our navbar will display here and the different html pages from the components will display here so next i'll just go ahead and integrate bootstrap so i'll open up the bootstrap site and copy this ctn here Then I'll paste it in this HTML file here. So I'll just go ahead and paste that one here. Then I'll also copy this one here, the JavaScript. And paste it here. So that is done. I'll close this. So back on the bootstrap page again, I'll copy this navbar here and get rid of whatsoever we have in this navbar component.html file and paste it there. Then I'll get rid of this form here. We don't need it. As well as this one here. We don't need that as well. I'll also change this to navbar tag here and bg primary so in the console here i'll run the application by typing ng save open so we have an error in the app module.ts file cannot find module cluster okay let's see what that is so I don't know where this came from. I'll get rid of that and save it. Then I'll refresh the HTML page again. So we have this list works. That is basically the text that was generated when we created the list component. So we can see here list work. If I then navigate to, um, let me say, create update. Then we we'll see here create update works. So the routing is done. In the next video, I'll create the service class.